All right, we're back with the FlightScope Mevo Plus set up inside my HD Golf Simulator. I wanted to do a quick video showing how to do a like basic setup and launch in TGC 2019. A few people reached out, uh, asked about how they're having launching or connecting problems with the FlightScope Mevo Plus in TGC 2019. Um, Definitely seems like some people had some interface issues, uh, and I was just going to explain a few of those. So first off, um, for those of you who haven't seen the setup on how the Mevo Plus is working uh, in my simulator, it's 7 feet behind the ball, and it's 10 feet to the screen. This is an existing HD Golf simulator that I just added a FlightScope Mevo Plus to. So I just wanted to show you uh, basically how that's all set up if you haven't seen it. Um, I have my computer ready. Uh, and I just connected it to the Mevo Plus. So for any of though, uh, for any of you that are still wondering what the password is on the flight or on the FlightScope Mevo Plus, it's just the end of your serial number. So you're going to search for the FlightScope. You're going to see that it comes up, and you're just going to use capital M two dash and the numbers. Uh, leave off the FS and the space, and make sure it's capital M, and you'll be good to go. And I'm also connected via Ethernet cable, so I have internet uh, all set and ready. And I'm going to tell you the first thing that you need to do. So depending on where you acquired TGC 2019, you should have been sent links that give you the FlightScope interface installation as well as TGC 2019 uh, and the council. Okay, so you'll notice down here that this says FlightScope, get it to focus here, FlightScope TGC interface. A lot of people, I, I saw several, you know, private messages come in, and it looked like they were using a generic interface, and it, I don't, I don't think you can get that to work. So, um, even if you can, obviously it's not made for it. I wouldn't recommend it. So, once you download those and they're all installed, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to launch that interface, and this is where you start from every time. So now that I'm connected to the Amiibo Plus with Wi-Fi, it's going to find my device. And if you're not connected to the Amiibo Plus yet, you actually have to close all the way out of the FlightScope interface. And even if I close this out, you'll actually notice that when I go to open this, it'll say it's still running. And so some people might be confused there. Well, it actually is running in the background. So you would have to close this out down here or click open interface, and then you'll see, you know, we're still there, we're ready to connect. So um, over here, you have shot information, settings, um, firmware. I've noticed that you can't update the firmware. Um, not sure if that's a plan that they're gonna do something, but look, you can't, you can't download it. So um, those are your settings, uh, distance to the ball, um, I talked to some people about wedge distance and fast putting. I didn't get many answers. So I'm not totally sure, uh, you know, what is going on with that, what it, what it means. Maybe Pro T can give us some answers. Um, you know, this is set to 6.56, and I'm actually 7. Um, so that's all set. It says recommended tilt is 10, um, but I'm actually at uh, 12 and it's been working really well. I'm not sure if Pro T has 10 recommended or not, but I can tell you right now that I've been using mine to set up a 12 and it seems to be working really well. So um, something to start at and you can mess with it. Uh, so we're good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and hit, uh, click connect. Next, it's going to pop up the console and this is where you're gonna start your game from. Uh, excuse the video, I'm obviously just doing this quickly with my phone just to try to help out. But um, you have your settings, which will pop up a configuration file. This is where you're going to make some settings to play Online Society. Um, I've been reading some stuff online. I strongly suggest uh, joining a Golf Simulator Forum. Um, just Google that and join. You'll find that they provide all kinds of information about TGC 2019. I'll show you. A printout I have here um, just talks about gameplay and taking screenshots. Gives you all kinds of. Uh, if you notice on this, there's all kinds of hot buttons. 
you know, how to go through gameplay and, um, you know, aim and do different things. So, um, and it's also built into the software I'll show you. So, uh, down here, you'll see that the different launch monitors like Skytrack and uh, Ernest Sports and FlightScope, they allow boost. And from what I've read, uh, the societies allow either negative five up to plus five boost. I'm not sure why. I don't boost anything. I keep things real and I just feel like that's the way to go. Um, but I do know that you have to turn on shot recording, which I've already done, and uh, the course configuration. The only thing I have not uh, figured out yet is the gimmies. Uh, they said that they need to be at 1.6 and I can only choose even numbers inside. I'll show you that. So one more thing I'm looking into. Um, this is where you can search and add friends. And I did that yesterday. It was pretty easy. Um, I'll just show you Cal real quick that uh, wanted to play via Discord. I found him on Discord. I just clicked to add. And that way he was under a friends list when we went to play online. So um, that's about it. Uh, you can obviously add your license here. Um, whoever you bought your software from, you're going to go online, they're going to give you instructions to license and then uh, copy and paste and enter your license here, it binds your software and you're good to go. Once you're completely set up and uh, you have your license activated and everything, go ahead and click start game from here. You're always going to want to start through the console and then you'll see Golf Club Simulator 2019. It's going to launch. Try to turn up the volume on the stereo so you guys could uh, could hear you know the different effects and everything I'm trying to keep it focused for you here too there's obviously a lot of change in how bright everything is or how dark it is so the the phone continues to try to focus I have a extremely powerful laptop um, I mean I don't think you get one more more powerful than it is and you can see it takes a couple seconds to load there it's not too bad and then it takes you to the screen and you'll just see it you can either hit enter or if you're touch screen just push Enter to continue. Takes you to your home screen from here. Um, the first thing I did was I edited my golfer. If you go in there, it allows you to, you know, pick all the different uh, looks and gender and, you know, right-handed, left-handed, you know, clothing, all that stuff. Um, that was pretty easy to do. I wouldn't say it looks just like me, but uh, good enough for now. So um, then you can go under settings and this is where you're going to, you know, configure everything the way you like it. So uh, audio, all your different volumes, um, whether it be music or the, you know, an announcer or crowd. Um, gameplay, you're going to see like green grids. Um, you're going to see all the different suggestions and wind speeds and all that. So there's that gimme proximity. I was, I had this set last night. Uh, when we were playing online head-to-head, -head, you can see the video uh, before if you look in the channel. And why I'm talking about that, please subscribe, and uh, you'll see a lot more content coming. So um, just click that button in the lower right and uh, subscri uh, subscribe to the channel uh, right here. Let's go back to... We were under gameplay. Let's go to cameras. Um, different cameras like the scout camera, approach and putting cameras. Um, you can turn on and off and it tells you each one. So we're on flyover, turn the flyover camera at the beginning of each hole on or off. You know, so, uh, you know, all those different settings. Um, we can scroll down if you want to see what else is available. Uh, follow camera delay. So you hit your ball and then two seconds later it takes off. You can change that if you wanted to do it instantaneously or whatever. Um, display and heads up display shows the different things that you'd be able to see on the screen um, you can turn on like high contrast so those those items really pop or you can have them kind of be a little more transparent so um, show your ball trail I messed with this I'm not gonna lie I think the ball trail can be a little annoying the giant yellow line as it's bouncing down you can't really see your ball um, but with it off you know you can't you can't really see the ball so I have the ball trail on um, and it's acceptable graphics if you have a power enough uh, powerful enough PC um, for instance mine um, I had to a custom level which is pretty much turned all the way up um, you can also just go in here and do ultra 
and honestly, I mean, I didn't notice much of a difference. Um, it looks good either way. So, uh, course designer, not going to really mess with that. We'll dig into that later. Um, yes, you can design your own courses. You can use LiDAR data. Uh, it's, it's pretty impressive. So social, I'll tell you something here that I turned on that, uh, you're going to want on. So, uh, nationality flags, auto ad friends, turn order animation. This is what I did not have on. And so when I did the last video, the hit showed the shot taken off from the club and the guy wasn't swinging. But if you turn this on, then it will show the guy swinging. I thought it was a little ridiculous to watch him standing there and then the ball take off. So turn that on. Um, In-game notifications, invites only, on, off, whatever you want to do. So um, I have mine on. Um, that kind of goes through all that. Here's that help glossary I was talking about. This is pretty cool. So if you want uh, some gameplay and control information, just go in here. And if you want to know how to aim a putt, then it tells you how. It tells you to right click to aim your putt left or right. Um, you know, obviously take the slope into uh, account and make the adjustments behind your golfer. It says uh, mind the slope. Uh, pulling down on the left click will draw the putter back. Once uh, the desired backswing is achieved, um, complete the fluid stroke forward, which that's all for the actual video game, I believe. So um, you gotta be a little careful here. Uh, it, you know, the flag toggle, C, will obviously work, you know, if you want the flag in and out. But some of these, you'll notice, are dual because, you know, it's a video game that obviously has simulator integration. So. Um, but still, some really good information there. Just be careful. You might get a little confusing if it's something that has to do with the actual, you know, video game versus simulator. So that's kind of that in a nutshell. I'll show you the main menu really quick while we're in here. Um, you have online society, solo society, play against the computer, driving range, chipping, putting, courses, like I said, uh, unpublished, new courses. Uh, any design type things. Now this is where once Cal and I accepted as friends, we started a local match and he needs to know the golf course, which I selected. You can change your conditions if you want to. You can change the pins that you're gonna play from in the tees. I made a mistake. I had us on the most forward tees. It was still fun. Turn order, turn this on now. If you don't turn this on now, you'll find out you'll do the same thing I did. I hit my ball on the tee and was wondering where he was, and you're not waiting for him. You don't see him. And so he takes off on his own, and everybody's confused. Turn on turn order. You guys will go back and forth, and it'll be like normal online play. That's the best way to do it. And then uh, once you're ready to go, then – whoops, I went back too far. I apologize. Go back in there real quick. Hopefully I didn't confuse it going back and forth twice. It looks like it's thinking. Not sure why. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I probably was moving a little too fast back and forth. So once you're ready to create your match, you'll create the match. And then when you want to add an online player, you just cl uh, click Add Rival. You could add a ghost or you could add a guest which would be someone locally here. And you can add a guest now, so I could add someone right here playing locally with me, okay? Then I could add someone online to play with us. And so if uh, Cal, for instance, was sitting here, I would select him. You can also filter out by friends. I don't have any friends sitting on this course waiting for me. Um, that's globally everybody that's playing and you can see their score and what's going on there so um, and at that point we would select he Cal would be added and then he can be in your round the other thing you can do is once you start your game and you're waiting on the tee you can actually uh, I believe I don't know if they call it invite or add I'll show you really quick there's your announcer. So here's the two guests, right? So myself and whoever else. If I hit escape really quick, I can actually go up here. I think it's group. 
and you can add a player, okay? And you can add your rival now. And so, <laughs> like there, that's funny, I'm sitting on the tee, so I could add myself. But so whoever's sitting there waiting, you add them to the game, and then now you'd be ready to go to play online. So hopefully that's a good overview for everybody. Um, you know, I think that TGC 2019 is definitely uh, a fun game. I think it has uh, great potential. And, uh, you know, I'll keep bringing some more content to everybody. Feel free to comment below if you know more and you want to share some insight or some tips, whatever it may be. Uh, I'm just kind of getting up and going here, trying to share what I've found out. Um, but whether you own a FlightScope Mevo Plus or you know more about TGC 2019, feel free to share it in the comments below. Comment, let me know what you think, and make sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, I'll have more content coming, so appreciate you watching.